Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. This YouTube video is going to be a little bit different. It's actually going to be a mismatch of all of my favourite current recipes that I'm always making. They're easy to make, they're delicious and also, you know, you have a little bit of a treat in there. You have micronutrients in there, you have the whole shebang. So there's going to be something for everyone. Now, before we get started, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also thank you so much so 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 much for hitting the 500k mark it means the world to me and honestly your love and support doesn't go unappreciated and unrecognized so without further ado let's get cooking with chrissy all right recipe number one the first recipe we're going to be making is protein pancakes that are going to taste like chocolate fudge now these are easy to make and they are so delicious and they always come out right but if they come out wrong i'm sorry so what you're going to need is you're going to need your blending thingy i'm using a nutribullet you can use whatever blender you got at home you need one cup of oats you're going to mix it with a little bit of water by the way everything will be in the description box so don't worry too much if i'm talking too fast and you're missing everything out then in here hi buttons in here, we're going to add one egg. I'm going to grab a medium egg. It depends how many you're cooking for and how many you're making it for. I'm just going to make it for myself. Sorry, Sasha. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so then we're going to be adding one whole banana in there. If you are vegan, you can actually mix in some flax seeds with some water to replace the egg. And if you don't like banana, you can replace the banana with Greek yogurt or avocado top tip so then in here we're gonna add my woman's best chocolate fudge protein powder this is it chocolate fudge brownie this is still available on the woman's best shop thank you so much to everyone who's bought it i can't believe it you love it and i love you so thank you then we're gonna mix everything together and that's gonna be your mixture pancake mixture do you see how easy that was obviously i prepped everything prior Right, to look a bit more professional, but it doesn't take that long. Oh my God. Oh, it's not fitting in. I just cut it a bit. <laughs> okay, we had to put it in a bigger one. It wasn't fitting for some reason. Right, so you're just gonna blend it. <laughs> it didn't plug it in. Oh, it's a shit show. Then you're gonna grab a non-stick pan and you're gonna put it at like a medium heat. We're gonna add some coconut oil, probably like a teaspoon. You should be good with that. And you're gonna let that melt. Once your pan has heated, you're gonna create a circle with your pancake, depending on how big or small you want them. And you're gonna let it cook and then you're gonna flip it. The other thing I do, and this is something I love, love, love doing, is I grab a bit of dark chocolate, and because it's like super warm right now on top, I just grab a little bit, and I just let it melt. You can add it inside the mixture as well. I'll show you what it looks like if you add it inside. The reason I do this is I let it melt, and then when you add the other pancake on top, that melts it as well, so you create layers. So, just a little tip. Now, if you add it in the mixture, all you have to do is just simply pour the mixture into the pan. This is so perfect. <laughs> look at us, it's so fluffy. So look, the chocolate's melted on this one. Look at that, it's just melted because it's hot. Moving on to recipe number two. Now this recipe has honestly just saved me. I make a big batch and I leave it in the fridge and then whenever I fancy a snack, a pre or post-workout meal, I literally just grab the bowl, 
put it on my rice crackers and I'm good to go. This is my tuna sweet corn onion red pepper mayo mix. So all you need is a big bowl and you are gonna need one whole onion, one whole red pepper, two tins of tuna, sweet corn, mayonnaise, and then your rice crackers. I use these rice crackers, they've got pea and lentils, and they have like a little bit of a crunch to them and saltiness to them, and I absolutely love it. By the way, if you hear chewing, it's Buttons eating her chew. And then to season it, all I'm adding is a bit of pink Himalayan salt. That's the only salt I use. I love pink Himalayan salt. So what you essentially need to do is cut everything finely, and literally you're gonna assemble all your ingredients into the bowl. I add about two tablespoons of light mayonnaise, but depending on what consistency you like, if you like it a little bit more runny, then add a bit more mayo. If you just want it to combine the ingredients, then two tablespoons will be more than enough. So I'm gonna chop up my ingredients, add everything to a bowl, and then pop some on top of my rice crackers. It is the perfect pre-workout meal. Two rice crackers, two tablespoons each on top of the mix. It's banging, full of protein, micronutrients, and it tastes really, really good. So let's get chopping. So, just add everything now to the bowl. So you can see I've chopped them up, just like so. One tin of sweet corn is all you need. So I'm just gonna drain this out. Make sure you're recycling your tins, children. Hi, Martin. She's like, oh, mummy. Oh, what's the food? Oh, are you buying? Mm -hmm. So me and her are together in this house and she sleeps right next to my bed, so I put her bed next to mine. And then every morning, dead on 7.30 a.m. in the morning, she wakes me up by licking my face. I don't know how she knows it's 7.30 in the morning. I don't even have an alarm clock anymore. She wakes me up. And it's like the best, best feeling in the world, getting woken up to your dog. I don't know, is that just me? But look at her, she's like a human. Oh, buttons! She's looking at the tuna, she loves tuna. Yes, I do. Then we're gonna add one, two. Oh, I think I need a third one. Yeah, it's a bit too much. And then some pink salt. Now we're just gonna mix everything together. Then you have two rice crackers here, and then all you're gonna do is add a bit of your mixture. By the way, this mixture you can add with cold pasta, you can add it into your sandwiches, you can add it into a wrap, you can add it into pizza bread, you can put it on top of a jacket potato. Literally, it's such an easy mixture you can use for absolutely everything. Look, done. Pre-workout meal. Go. Why are you always looking at me? I always get you staring. Recipe number three. Probably the easiest recipe, most convenient, but such a delicious, simple dessert that you can have at the end of your meal. I don't know about you, but every time I have something salty, I want something sweet, then I want something salty, and the cycle never ends. It's just a lethal cycle. But here is my take on peaches and cream. Also, FYI, every single brand that I have here, they're not sponsored, everything's paid for by myself. It's just brands that I like, convenient, find them in the store, they're good to go. So, what I'm gonna be using for my base is coconut yogurt. I absolutely love coconut yogurt. I actually prefer it than normal yogurt. It's just me, just preference, but you can use normal yogurt if you fancy normal yogurt. So, coconut yogurt, I'm gonna add three, hefty, right, four then, 
tablespoons. I'm going to be adding some granola. This is called the Palo Foods and Co. I actually like this granola. I think they did a banging job with this granola. So yeah, if you have it, try it. It's a bit dear, not gonna lie. So a bit of nuts, but here's what it is. Actually a really good, if you add a bit of protein powder in there and you mix it in with your yogurt, it's a really, really, really good post-workout meal as well. Um, or if you don't have to add the protein, it's just extra protein. Here I have some flax seeds as well. So I'm gonna add some flax seeds in there. Extra Omega and extra crunch. And then I have one peach. You can use a nectarine, you can use strawberries, but I just like the taste of anything to do with yogurt and peaches. I don't know what it is, but oh, I just love it, I do. I absolutely love it, dear. So you're just gonna get your peach slices. The final thing I'm gonna be adding is some honey. You can use agave nectar or whatever floats your boat. And that is my take on peaches and cream. So the final dish I'm gonna be showing you is called my all-in-one chicken bake. Super easy, super delicious, and super simple. The only thing that you're gonna require some time doing is prepping the food. But honestly, it took me literally two minutes to peel two sweet potatoes. Your broccoli's pretty much done, all you gotta do is wash it, and then opening up an onion and chopping it up doesn't require a lot of time. Honestly, I think this is probably one of the easiest meals I make on a daily basis because I whack everything in a massive, massive oven baked tray like this. I put it in the oven in a low heat for about an hour, an hour and 30 minutes and everything is cooked thoroughly, everything is delicious and then I can take some of the ingredients to work with me when I'm heading to the toner sculpt office. So honestly, there's no excuses. You need to stop making these really just like, I'm gonna say it, crappy excuses to why you can't eat well. I know you can eat well. It's just about investing a little bit of time and energy and effort into what you put into your body. This meal, super simple, super delicious. If you don't wanna use the chicken, that's absolutely fine. You can replace it with fish. If you don't wanna use the fish, if I was you, I would prep all your veggies and potatoes in a massive oven bake tray put it in the oven and you can utilize that over and over again throughout the day or even it'll be good for two to three days which i tend to do in a bigger tray i get a lot of brussels sprouts and broccoli and onion i chop it all up add a bit of olive oil a bit of salt pepper put it in the oven and then it's good to go for two to three days so that's another tip so i'm going to chop all my veggies up put my chicken in there i'm also going to be adding a bit of tomato sauce kind of like the stuff you use for pasta, but if you put it on top of your chicken, it tastes really, really good. So that's another tip.
So there you guys have it, four easy recipes that you can try and you can test yourself and see whether you like them. These are recipes that literally I utilize and use every single week in my diet and to my regime. They work brilliantly for me. That doesn't mean they're gonna work for you, but it does mean that you can give them a go and you never know, you might find something that would change your life. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and sorry if anything I said was annoying because I know it could be a little bit annoying. Alright, I love you always and forever. Bye.